Hi, let us understand how to install Argo CD. Argo CD will be installed as a part of the Kubernetes cluster. For our understanding purpose, we are going to use Minikube. Assume you have a cluster. For our understanding purpose, this is going to be the Minikube. Within the cluster, we will be installing the Argo CD. Argo CD is nothing but a set of Kubernetes workloads like pods, replica sets, deployments and n number of other components or workloads of Kubernetes working together to provide the facility of continuous delivery. To precisely say continuous deployment. In a later video, we will see the difference between the continuous delivery and the continuous deployment. Continuous deployment going to provide automatic deployment of the application and in continuous delivery there will be a manual intervention to deploy the application. Now once the Argo CD is installed we need a mechanism to communicate with the Argo CD for that we will be having Argo CD command line interface and Argo CD also provides a web UI with which we can interact with the Argo CD. Argo CD will have the facility to connect with the n number of repositories like GitHub, GitLab or any source code repository or the container registry. Pick the code and deploy those workloads like pods, replica sets, deployments into the cluster. So these workloads could be in the same cluster where we have the Argo CD installed or it could be totally in a different cluster as well. So in this particular lecture, we are going to understand how to install Argo CD. For the Argo CD installation, we need a Kubernetes cluster. In our case, we do have a Minikube running. I do have the Minikube running. I am going to use this particular cluster for the installation. The entire installation command is added as a part of the GitHub repository with the instructions under Smack Academy learn underscore Argo CD. Here we will be creating a namespace called Argo CD and we will be applying the YAML file, the install YAML file within the namespace Argo CD. This is going to install all the required workloads. Let me copy this command and create the namespace Argo CD. Now let us go ahead and do the installation of Argo CD. As I mentioned earlier, the entire instruction available as a part of my GitHub repository. I will be sharing the link as a part of the video as well. First, we will be creating the namespace Argo CD. kubectl create namespace Argo CD. Namespace is created. Now let's go ahead and apply this particular file, installation YAML file that's available as a part of the GitHub repository and that will be applied within the Argo CD namespace. In case if you face any issue connecting to the GitHub user content website, retry and that should work.
here itself we have seen first time it gave the error and uh, second time it worked properly this issue happens with the virtual machines in cloud there should not be any such issue now we can go ahead and uh, check the workload within Argo CD namespace So all the deployments getting created, the pod services, replica sets, everything is available. Once the Argo CD server is available, we can go ahead and connect to the server and access the web UI. And the services, everything is exposed using the cluster IP. So we can use the port forward of kubectl uh, and access the web UI. Each individual components, we will be discussing it separately in the next video. Now let's go ahead and uh, access the server to make sure the installation went through properly. All the deployments, ready stage and uh, pod, it's available. So let's go ahead and uh, use the port forward and access the UI. There is another method of accessing the Argo CD that is through the Argo CD command line interface that we need to do the installation of Argo CD. Now let's do the port forward of the service Argo CD server to the port 8080 of the local host and 443 of the service. So we can access the port 8080 through the browser. Since the certificate is locally signed, it's going to give this particular warning. Let's go ahead and accept the risk and it's going to provide me the login user ID. By default, admin user ID will be created and we can get the password from the command line interface. Let's go ahead and open another terminal. Here we can use the Argo CD command to get the password or we can use the kubectl as well to decrypt the secrets Argo CD initial admin secret and uh, decrypt using the base64 we can get the password and everything is available within the namespace Argo CD. kubectl within the namespace argo cd i am going to get the secret argo cd dash initial dash admin dash secret the json path is data dot password and i am going to decode using the base64 and echo it in the screen so this is the admin password I'm able to access the web UI. This gives the confirmation the installation is successful.